Hey guys, it's Cassie and today we are going to be talking about the best luxury pieces to buy in 2023 that we know of. So these are pieces that are either very limited, I think will be really popular, I just think are worth getting and are really great choices. The links to these items will be below or in the shopping prompt on the screen. Kicking it off with the Tiffany and Fendi collaboration. Now we've got a few collaborations on this list. Information about this collection collaboration has been all over the place to be very honest with you and as of the 5th of January these were they were released online for 24 hours for pre-order or until sort of stock, stock sold out I'm getting conflicting information because I also heard from a few essays that they were sold out before they even like hit the shop floor with pre-orders and things like that through client relationships I'm sure some people were successful in pre-ordering via the website. There was a waiting list on the US website, the UK website apparently it went live at 9am and by 9.30 it was sold out. And the reason that I'm including this even though there's a high chance that this is sold out and, and whatever is you might get lucky. If you have a relationship with a Fendi SA you might have um, a bit of a chance people cancel orders, people return all of that so not faulty one don't settle for a faulty one but i'm just saying they might return it because they don't like the color whatever don't know why i would it's tiffany blue anyway cassie there are really only two parts of this collaboration from a bag perspective you've either got the medium size sort of standard size fendi baguette in leather or satin or the nano version which is the same but tiny tbe and you've got the silver chain with this collaboration all the silver hardware is tiffany silver will it tarnish yes but nothing a little silver cleaning cloth can't handle they did have other aspects of this collaboration but um it's maybe not for us mere mortals and by that i mean they had one that was entirely sterling silver more like an art piece i would say and then one that was only for VVIP clients to order and it's crocodile and actually has baguette diamonds on the clasp. I think if you've managed to get your hands on this bag, if you can still try maybe through a personal shopper or, or if you have a relationship with a Fendi SA, this is a really really good one to get. I don't see them doing another iteration of this. So sometimes with collaborations if we take something like Gucci and the North Face, they've done that two or three times now. I don't see this happening again for a very long time but if you didn't manage to get this I really really hope that they keep the style on the Fendi roster the Fendi phone holder is a brilliant bag currently only available in satin they have a leather version with the Marc Jacobs print so it's got the Fendi Marc Jacobs all over it or there's one that's uh, completely beaded but it fits your phone for people that are bothered it's all I think it also ticks TB boxes and the colours are just so saturated and gorgeous. My only issue is I'm not, I don't necessarily like the fact that it's satin so much. I would love if they did the same colours in leather, but let's see. I really, really hope that they stick to it because this is such a great bag. And I think that it's a great one to get going into 2023. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. So if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Chanel fishnet boots. Can these be called a boot? I mean, like technically they're an ankle boot and a knee-high boot. I don't know. I personally have such a love-hate relationship with Chanel at the moment, which is I love some of the designs. I hate the way it treats us. What with price increases and all of that and quality. But I will say I don't hear too much slash I have never experienced any bad Chanel quality when it comes to shoes. And in the same way that these shoes were like Chanel's hot shoe of 2022, I feel like these fishnet versions are going to be Chanel's hot shoe of 2023. The style of it is still very Chanel-y. You know, you've got that sort of parts of it that are very reminiscent of the ballerina flats with the toe and the heel and all of that and then you've got this fishnet sock with crystals with iridescent crystals with monochromatic crystals that match the the fishnet I think that they are fun and a little bit more wearable and I mean that because it, from what it looks like they're going to come in two different heel heights there's something 
uh, more like this. I think there's a shorter one and also there is a higher version as well. I think that they do have a little bit more of that wearability than if we look at something like Saint Laurent's crystal boots that are notoriously uncomfortable. You have to get them two sizes big enough for you to even manage to get them on. It's a commitment. I feel like these are less so. Are they the most practical shoes in the world? No, because at the end of the day, they are crystal fishnets. I think if you like them, tell your essay now, because I think these aren't going to be the easiest things to get. Ferragamo. I am excited about Ferragamo in 2023. Ferragamo is really not a brand that I would actively look at. I, if I see the store, I'm not going in. Like, I just have succumbed myself to the fact that Ferragamo and Cassie aren't a thing until Maximilian Davis has taken over as creative director and this spring summer 2023 is his first collection for the brand and it is beautiful it's minimal it's gloriously tailored it's not boring because w with me when I think of minimal I maybe think like oh the row and it's for all the rows you know success I'm just not the row customer it's effortlessly chic there's a bit of spice in there there's a little bit of excitement you saw Zendaya in what I have dubbed the fire set because that looks like flames to me um in both sense of the word there's the full crystal set that again it's a bodysuit and a beautifully you know tailored pair of trousers and they've just thrown a whole load of crystals on it. It's made something minimal with an edge and I just uh, I love it. Ferragamo this year is going to be great, a great one to buy. Let's focus on the bags. The Wonder Style in particular I think is going to be the one that people are going to be looking at. There's an east-west version, there's medium sizes, a sort of a longer version as well. I like these a lot but if you want something a little bit more exciting maybe than just you know one colour they did an ombre version, they're also doing it in red crystals, in black crystals, there's something about it. Will Maximilian Davis be what Daniel Lee was for Bottega? I've got high hopes. Speaking of Bottega, in 2022 they relaunched the knot clutch. The iconic knot clutch of Bottega, little sort of hard shell clutch with the intrecciato weave and a little knot and you rock it back and forth to open love it. I'm glad that she came back. Little bit of, you know, sort of modern enhancements there. The knot um, is slightly different. They also released the version with the leather strap, right? Love that, love that they did that. However, it's currently only available in leather. And I will say that I think these are worth getting on the pre-loved market for a couple of reasons. Number one, price. Bottega is also subject to the odd little price increase, they've been loving that, and you can get these, the original version, much cheaper, pre-loved. Also, if you're looking for it in more fun colours, pre-loved, okay, they've got all the fun colours. I'm not particularly enjoying the colours that they've released them in for this time, but I think it's definitely worth a look if you want to jump on that kind of clutch, hard shell train. You can't go wrong with a Bottega knot clutch, you really can't. Round two of Louis Vuitton and Yayoi Kusama. So this is a collaboration that we saw done 10 years ago. It's very recognisable, everybody knows it. Yayoi Kusama is very well known for her dots and polka dots, the infinity rooms, pumpkins, all of which have integrated nicely into this collaboration. This is a very big collaboration if you compare it to something like the Tiffany and Fendi. There are bags, shoes, perfume, accessories ready to wear, all the categories are covered and again it's all the polka dots or there's sort of little pumpkins on speedies with the polka dots on them or you've got these sort of molten globules of silver on some of the leather bags. I believe this is due to launch on January the 6th worldwide. Information will be below if it is live by the time this comes up. If you're thinking about this one, Louis Vuitton collabs have a good history in terms of like investment value of bags but also again if you want something that's a little bit like a moment in time rare limited edition even if you just wanted a little something from this collaboration because they've done so much like you can treat yourself to maybe a perfume that's got the polka dots on it or an SLG or something like that then they're, they're unlikely to do this collaboration for at least another 10 years right well that's my theory anyway mud pearl jewelry 
bit of a rogue one and shout out to my nail technician Keeks for telling me about the brand because I did some research and I was like hold on a second we've got to jump on the train now if you're interested before this really blows up so as seen on celebrities like Hayley Bieber who is very much a style icon that people are looking up to at the moment this is a handmade jewellery company that focuses on pearls and it's very much about like the organic shape of the pearl. Their most popular one is, it's got a guy's, it's called the Bruce, I believe. It's a cross pendant and then the rest of the necklace is pearls as well. It's also retaking that whole perception that, you know, if you think of pearls, you think of it, you know, on a majestic, established older woman. They're not usually framed in like a very youthful way, shall we say, right? And so I think that this is an interesting way of reworking those into a much more trendy way. If you want to buy a pair of heels this year, you want it to be a statement, look no further than Loewe. We saw them already start doing this in 2022 with the balloon heels. Well, 2023 has even more for us. I feel like Loewe in general is going to be a hot brand in 2023, arguably, I'm going to say it now, the hottest brand of 2023. So I don't think you can go wrong with anything really and quality wise it's very much there. But shoes, I think we are going to be talking a lot about them once again. It's that novelty in there. Next one is a category vintage. I know all the vintage lovers and the ride or die vintage people are rolling their eyes and I apologise. Vintage is really sort of being turned to at the moment. We're seeing a lot more celebrities wearing vintage pieces. Miley Cyrus for her New Year's Eve concert. All of the pieces that she wore were vintage and I think as people look towards things that are a little bit more unique or pieces that they loved growing up that they now have a chance to buy because they have the funds or even getting those very well-known iconic vintage pieces as a collectible this is happening a lot more and because of that vintage pricing is also creeping up on certain pieces vintage has and will always be a great thing to support but i feel like if you haven't dipped your toe in vintage 2023 is the time to do so if you are loving the y2k mcbling trend then 2023 is the time to buy Miu Miu and Blue Marine. Hear me out. Miu Miu was the hottest brand of 2022. And I think part of why they did that so well, the designs are very Y2K, but in a wearable way, some more than others. I'm not talking about that micro skirt. I'm talking about the majority of the rest of the ready to wear collection, right? It was a great go between of like, I don't want to be fully like Von Dutch Ed Hardy jeans, but I do want to dip my toe in that trend in a wearable way that I will be able to style you know, the piece in different ways. And I feel like that's really going to continue this year. I think if you want to take that a step further, then it's Blue Marine. If you want that McBling, if you want studded denim and crystals and butterfly tops, it's Blue Marine. So me and me, we we're already talking about them. I feel like Blue Marine, we're going to be talking about a lot more as well. And now is the time to get involved. Do your men's ERL collaboration resort 2023 collection is so good it's so good there is one all pink look that i would sell my kidney for like it's just i love the trousers i love it with the skate shoe a moment please the bags from this collection are great they have taken a lot of saddle bags done them in different fabrics the satin there's like a tinsely one there's shearling and paired them with these gloriously chunky gold chains. Will they be as heavy as the Bottega Veneta chain set? I don't know. Am I willing to break my left shoulder blade turning out a look with one of these bags? Yes. Sad to report though, a lot of the little TBE ones, because they did TBE and there was like the chunky gold chain that was like half the size that is so cute. Okay, a lot of those didn't go into production. Pink is definitely going to be available. The tinsel is not, I don't think. Um, I hate it when they do that. Also, from what I have heard of SAs, the satin saddles are going to be quite hard to get slash in very limited numbers. I think that this whole collection in terms of bags is so interesting and unique and a really great 
twist on the saddle if you like those weird and wonderful pieces then I think that those are really really good ones to buy if you can get your hands on them. But I'm going to leave a link to another video over here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are and in the words of my father. If you've enjoyed it tell your friends. If you haven't keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.